guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm back with another body shop review video and this time around I'm bringing to you the banana bath blend I did get this um, recommended to me by a subscriber I'm not sure if they've tried this out themselves or if they just wanted me to review it uh, but yes I thought hmm this looks pretty cool I should give it a go now this is not a new product in the body shop range it's not a seasonal product it is an all-year-round product so you should be able to purchase this when you watch this video at least in the sort of few months after me talking about it so let's get into it so it does say on the front of it that it has banana puree coconut and avocado oil in it and it is meant to be a hydrating bath foam now the ingredients list is quite long it's not hugely long but I won't mention all the ingredients here um, if you do want a full list of the ingredients please go to the body shop website and check it out for yourself so it's got water in it, it's got sunflower seed oil, sodium laurel sulfate, it's got some perfume in there, um, it's got some sesame seed oil, it's got coconut oil, avocado oil, uh, banana fruit extract, um, sodium chloride, sodium hydroxide, and some other little bits and pieces going on here. So except for the banana fruit extract, it is pretty much a perfumed uh, bath blend it is meant to smell like a banana scent um, and that scent can be quite hard to do naturally um, they do especially in cooking and stuff like that they do actually derive the banana scent from vanilla which sounds kind of crazy um, but I definitely notice that it is that sort of traditional banana scent that you would normally get from say a banana ice cream or a banana flavoring that you would put into a cake or something like that it's it's pretty much that sort of scent that most of us know and love when it comes to making a sort of synthetic banana scent so if you're buying this with the thought that it's going to smell like a really natural banana that's sort of the wrong thought to go into buying this with i, I wouldn't think of it as a natural banana scent it's definitely a more manufactured synthetic style of banana scent uh, but yeah you are going to struggle to find a natural banana scented product like this on the market because it's really really hard and really expensive to make I will say that now like I said before it does have a lot of different oils in there besides the avocado oil like I said it's got the sunflower seed oil coconut oil sesame seed oil um I don't sort of notice any sort of smells from those oils when using this sometimes if there's a lot of oils in a product it can sort of start to smell like cooking oil which is quite common uh, but in this product that's not the case at all the banana strength well the scent of banana and the strength of it is really strong so you don't smell any of that in this product at all now when i was using this product as you can see i used about that much where the bottom of my thumb is I didn't use a lot of it I would say I've probably used maybe a sixth of it so I'll probably get about six uses out of this I think that's great value for money for a start I think that this product is great for value for money and yeah I got a really decent amount of bubbles out of it I had someone comment on one of my videos when I was unboxing this saying they didn't really get a lot of bubbles out of this product. I actually disagree with that. I think I got a really decent amount of bubbles for what I put into the bath. Just my personal opinion. Um, yeah, and it is quite different from anything that Lush sells, which is another brand that I commonly review on my channel. Lush doesn't sell anything like this. It's sort of like a two-in-one. It's sort of like a bath oil with the... Bar, um, bubble bar um, bubbles and all that sort of thing so yeah it's quite an interesting product now the water wasn't as softening as I probably would have liked it to be I think if you're someone who has really dry skin and you're sort of thinking that this will be a really nice treat for you in the bath I think it's a good start I would include a bath oil with this like obviously in the water after putting this in the bath so you don't get rid of the bubbles um, but yeah, I think they've done a good job balancing putting enough oil in there where it's moisturizing without compromising on the bubble factor because obviously oils can sort of dissolve the bubbles. So yeah, I can I can see where they were going with it. I can see where they sort of had a little bit of a um, challenge with this product in that respect. 
overall my thoughts like I said, I think the bubble yield is actually pretty good for the product. I think you could easily get six uses out of this. Um, you can always measure this out, you know, on a scale or something like that if you wanted to, if you wanted to get technical about the amount that you're using. This is a 250 ml bottle. I think that that's a really good size for the price. Yeah, I think they're quite an underrated product, to be honest with you. Uh, and the scent strength was really great. There was a lot of scent going on. I was a little bit concerned about that because it is quite a synthetic scent, like I said, and sometimes they're not so smelly when it comes to the bath. Uh, but yes, I think it did a really good job in that respect as well. So overall, I am going to give this product a 5 out of 5 rating. I do recommend it. I'm a huge fan of banana anyway. It does smell very similar to the Body Shop Banana Hair Care range, if you've ever used that before. That's one of my favourite things from the Body Shop and something I love to use. And I love the scent of that as well. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. Now at the end of this video, I do have a quick little look at the bath water so you can see what I was seeing in the bath. And yeah, I always put some little um, notes in there like um, verbal notes. So sometimes I miss something or mentioning something in the video and then I mention it in that part. So please stay tuned till the end for that. But if you don't want to see the demo or the showing of the bath water, I want to say thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope this review was helpful or at the very least entertaining. Let me know if you tried the bath blends before and what your experience has been. Um, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now. So here are some of the bubbles from the hydrating bath blend, the banana one from the body shop. And yeah, I am pretty happy with the bubble amount. I mean, it could have been a little bit more for what I used, but you know, they're still quite foamy and they're holding together really nicely. And the water here, it's sort of like a cloudy, very light yellow color. It's almost a clear cloudy color, like there's no distinct color to it really. Besides that little bit of a yellow tinge but the smell is awesome thanks for watching